Uh, all right, welcome to the Chaos DEI workgroup meeting. We are going to run this one by committee because, <laughs> like I said, I wasn't here last week, so um, so I don't know what's going on. So um, I remember right, we were hoping to get some feedback on two of the the metrics. Like we didn't we didn't actually have a lot to cover last uh, last week just because okay. there were two. Yeah, I don't know if we've had feedback rounds on those other two metrics. The, Why don't we take a little bit of time to do that then? Do you remember which two they were, Justin? Or Elizabeth or anybody? Attention to color, blindness, and event location inclusivity. But neither of the people, I think, who were working on that. Oh, wait, Matt G. OK, it wasn't Nico then. Yeah, I thought Nico was doing the color one. Yeah, and Kevin's been working on event location inclusivity. And since he's not here, I don't know if we want to keep working on that or. Sorry, I'm not super prepared. <laughs> let, me, let me, all right, well, first let's, let's, um, if you could add yourself as an attendee, that would be good in the minutes. Facilitator is all of us. Ruth has herself as the facilitator. For last week, I think. That was last week. Uh, yeah. Oh, we just copied and pasted it up. Yeah, yeah. I have an open PR that I'm gonna add to the agenda right now. Okay. I'm trying to think back a little bit too. I know we had discussions about uh, ProSpot, I think it was a couple weeks ago. I don't know if we ever circled back to that or if there was anything that needed to happen with that. Okay. And ProSpot is a bot that examines pros. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, I was looking at it. So I, um, cause somebody mentioned it, I was using it just on one of my personal projects to kind of test it out and see what it did. Um, and it will scan basically like any, uh, TXT file and I think any markdown file. Um, and it will, it, it's kind of like a, a super duper grammarly slash spell check thing, but then it also does other things and it will say like, Hey, this language is weak or consider using this other term instead for inclusivity, uh, which is why I think that this group had mentioned it. Um, okay. But I just didn't know if there was anything that needed to, to happen with that or where we were. I, I'm happy to do the work. I just don't know which direction what, to go. What the work would be. Yeah, I'm yeah. not even really sure. I think Sean brought it up because um, he was going to um, use it in Augur, I think. But I don't know what happened with that. That's the only context okay. I have. So I think we're kind of agenda setting right now. Real time agenda hacking. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, Lauren, I think maybe just hold off on that until we see what Sean has to say. Okay. Sounds good. Um, Rosebot, DEI Council, DEI. What else do people update? Update. What else do people have? Kind of on their mind. Oh, I can give an update too on. Um, reflection that we're doing is fair. So let's take a look. I'll share my screen here. So let's take a look at the, the merge, the PR that's being asked to be merged. 
Um, okay, so this is a metric that I know you've been working on, Elizabeth. And I think it's ready. Um, I think it just needs to be merged and then I will create an issue and translation. Okay. Uh, actually, we have that checklist. I'll check that down and figure out what else I have to do. Oh yeah, we could. Yeah, actually, why don't we, we could also do that too. Um, I don't know where, where, where does that go? Where does that checklist go? It goes in the issue. The issue that I had already opened? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it goes in 376. Okay. I will find that then. Do you know where that is? Where that I do not. <laughs> and off, off you go. We'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> I don't think it's like approved, approved, but it's pretty close. So I think it's good enough to use is okay. what's the understanding I got. So that's why it doesn't come up as like a template yet, but gotcha. I'll find it. Okay. So let's merge, add checklist, issue, add, add, issue to translation. All right. So just so people know what we're talking about here is I'll go ahead and merge this. Um, but then within each of the issues, 376, within each of the issues, Elizabeth, just add it. Like you could add it at the top of this or at the bottom of it. Okay. It's just the checklist of things to do as you're releasing a metric. Okay. All right. So let me stop my share for a second. I will merge this. All righty, it is merged. Thank you. And Merge I found it. a checklist. Yay. Okay, okay. So then can you also, if I go back to share my screen, can you add, because you have it in copy paste form, I'm guessing, can you add that to each one of these? So actually, this is good that we're doing this. <laughs> it's probably good that we didn't have a big agenda because then we can, okay, so we can add the checklist to each one of these. And then we also need to get each one of these metrics into the translations repo. What I'm talking about? Yes. So show, I'll show this too. Um, So in each one of the translations, for each one of the metrics that we have here, we're trying to scaffold the process a little bit better because I know that Kevin and Vinod have had, it's just been a lot of work to get the metrics released. And so Elizabeth is gonna be adding the checklist here for each one of them and then uh, for each in the translations repo, we come back psychological safety. Well, inclusive experience of event. Let's do that one. So we come back to our focus areas event. Where is that one? Matt, is this, where is this one located? Um, can you click on the pull request? It may not be merged, I'm not sure. 
It should be under the event metrics, though. It hasn't been merged. Okay. <laughs> we have housekeeping to do. All right, so let's let's take a look actually first what needs to be merged. All right, so attendee speaker demographics. Um, this was a this is a merge of two metrics for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, right, so it's right here. Right. Yeah. There's right. actually not much of a change. We just took the best parts of both and squished them into one. Okay, so then a new issue. Is the what are we new metric comma All right new metric API. What was this one called? Event. Oh, uh, event demographics. Sorry, as you're watching me do this real time. I usually like to add thank you in Chinese, but I don't, I always have to copy and paste it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna take the time to go do that right now. <laughs> okay, good. And then, Does anybody ever have like brain problems? <laughs> like, and now I'm gonna go click on time inclusion. Is this one merged? So yes. I'm guessing this is under. The diversity, time inclusion. Okay. For virtual events? Yes. All right, so we're slowly getting through this. How are we doing? Nobody double checking me? Or are you just <laughs> staring off into space while I do work <laughs> on the screen? How fun is it to watch me type issues? Um, you are amusing today though. Well, great. <laughs> yeah, where am, what am I doing? Okay, so now I'm on the next one. It does kind of open an interesting question, though, just because yes. I feel like sometimes our, well, between the facilitation and the Google Docs and then the GitHub issues and the metric drafts, that sometimes that do we have a documented like workflow or process of how we manage? Like, maybe there's one for chaos in general. I don't know if we have one for D and DEI working group, how we use the GitHub and how that is a part of our release process. We, for DEI, no. But we have been with this checklist that Elizabeth has been putting in. I'll take a look. I don't know if you got it into psychological safety, but. Um, yeah, it's in there. So we are trying to do this across all working groups. Is this what you're asking, sort of, Justin? 
So this is for creating a new metric. Correct. Do I get that right? Yeah. Okay. I guess I maybe a, a different angle, just on the same kind of thing. But like you know, sometimes we show up in in our in our meeting today without the agenda, and we're like, oh yeah, what are we talking about? And then we also have the the GitHub issues. Like, I wonder if there's a better way we could connect those or just explain like how does our working group use these things and these tools? So even someone yeah. who's a newcomer could better understand like, oh, if I want to do X, if I want to propose a new metric, I should do that first on GitHub instead of maybe putting that in the Google doc first or mm -hmm. something like that. We, we don't really, I think it's, I mean, it's a fair point. I don't think we really have that in terms of like how we connect these things. Um, one of the things that the common working group does is they start every of these sessions with let's go take a look at our PRs and issues. So that immediately connects this meeting, this Google Doc, and the GitHub repo, like just kind of mm. inherently connects them, you know, without kind of being explicit, like this is how these are connected. So maybe that could help a little bit. What do you think? I, or still I like more. the idea. I, okay. I have I have an example that I could give some, like, I don't know if it's going too into the weeds, but just thinking about workflow, something I've seen work well for other communities is using yeah. like, so you have the, still have the meeting structure, but using, instead of having like meeting topics in the agenda, using, since we already have a GitHub issue tracker, we could add like a label or some other way or have a project for to show like these are the topics up for discussion at this meeting. And then people could open a new issue to add a new topic into, into discussion. But yeah, we've I don't never, know if that's over complicating or yeah, we've never we've never done that. And I can I see the the and I don't know that we've um I don't know that we've needed that so much. I feel like we've been able to carry our issues forward through this Google Doc. So we've always used issues more for like not managing workflow, but for really just kind of what we're doing here, like managing metric creation. Mm. Um, trying to think, has anybody seen Matt or Elizabeth, the use of GitHub for managing kind of our, our work? in chaos, I don't think I've seen it. Uh, not, not so much. Um, I mean, it might be something we could try. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't have any strong feelings against trying, giving it a try. So yeah. um, we've used like Kanban boards, but I think with, with, um, with badging and the integrations with other parts of GitHub were actually kind of, were actually pretty useful, um, the GitHub projects. It's just having it right on the platform can be can be helpful with automation. Okay. I um honestly over the over the years, like the one technology that I've seen actually like take off really quickly in the chaos project was our introduction of Slack. <laughs> like that was the one thing that people just all gravitated towards really, really quickly. And so I think we've tried a variety of different technologies to manage work, but I, we always seem to just kind of keep landing back on, on institutional knowledge and Google Docs, which I think to your point is probably not the best thing to rely on. You know what I mean? So. I guess my feeling is just that sometimes like we have this, I feel like we have a pretty decent backlog of stuff in the, the GitHub issues. And I'm wondering like, is that really representative of, of all that we have going on or are there things that maybe we could circle back to? I've tried. So sometimes I have maybe like six months ago, I started going back through issues within every working group to try to address just this issue. Like if we haven't, like, should we just close with, without comment? You know what I mean? Like, do we, or do we need to have it like as a placeholder for something? Um, and if I recall, DEI is actually one of the larger issue sets that we have. Common is like completely cleared out. They've got nothing in there, mm -hmm. which is good. 
Um, so I think this one is the one that is mostly it's a lot of this, like just ideas. You can see these here. Mm. Why is this still marked? Yeah, we need, okay. And anything that's marked epic, I'm sure nobody wants to touch. <laughs> I guess I guess the one thing I have seen where that if we were to try out such a workflow is it would really be on the facilitators because it does take, like if you have the project board on GitHub or Trello or whatever you use, it just takes that curation piece of being able to drag and drop things like, that's mm -hmm. one way the GitHub project boards can be nice because it ties in really closely to the, the issue tracking pieces. And, and I dropped some examples of that in the Zoom chat just from what I've used before. But from what I've seen, it, 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 it requires that use of the uh, like facilitator and having consistency across facilitation. Like how do these things, like how are we going to prioritize these things? And mm -hmm. having a column, like a meeting column, like is that something we would do? Or it would take some discussion, I guess. Yeah, I'd have to lean on you a little bit if you've done this. I'm not familiar with the use of, I assume this is the space you're talking about. Yeah, projects. something along these lines, yeah. Okay, yeah, no, I've never really done this. So I'd have to not lean on you to like do it, but <laughs> lean on you to <laughs> help kind of let me know how to do it. Would there be a good a good place for me to bring this up as like a, I don't want it to be like, oh, we had a meeting of six people and we decided we're going to do this. Like, should I bring that up in Slack on the mailing list or? Probably um, Slack. That seems to generate more conversation. Okay. So I can drop a, I can drop a, a message in the Slack chat and see what folks think about okay. that idea out. So let me, I'm going to continue this a little bit. We have is documentation discoverability this is a released metric isn't it it's it was part of the continuous release so it'll be i think in because it was like in may or something like that when we released it if you scroll down i just added the checklist so it's on the website but it's still oh sorry which one uh, back where you were the dis documentation yeah if you just i think if you scroll down a little bit you'll see Oh, yeah, it's part of the release process. So I added the checklist, but I don't think it's been part of the official release yet. So it'll go in the October one. And I don't know about all these check marks, but. So this is still a metric. This is one that is intended to be released in this. Yes, it's so it's on the website as under community review or whatever. Okay. Excuse me. Okay. So, okay. Where this one is here? Where is it? Uh, I think it's under. Where was it? Project and community. I bet. Yeah, there it is. Documentation discoverability. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna round this out. Could you could you add a translation issue for documentation storability? No, sure. for the one that for your psychological safety. Yeah, I did. Okay, thanks. Uh, Cool. So do we have, could somebody, oops, let me mark that one. Do we have all of, are these issues all aligned with one, one five? Is 
is every metric that's in the translation repo. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. How many do we have that are being really five? Which one are we missing? Can you tell? Inclusive experience at events. I don't think that's in there. Does that is that one been merged? Oh, good question. It has not been merged. It has not, no. Can you merge that, Elizabeth? Sure. So then we'll merge that, get that over into translation. All right. Oh, it says we couldn't merge this pull request. I just merged it. I beat you to it. <laughs> oh, that's why. I was like, wait, no. So I messed that up. <laughs> All right, so then that one is probably in events, I'm guessing. Yes. Which one was it? Inclusive, is it this yep. one? Yeah. 23 seconds ago? <laughs> That's it. Shiny and new. Okay. And then uh, experience in this lens is that what it was yeah okay so thanks you But thanks, y'all doesn't translate. <laughs> thanks, y'all. Actually, I'm going to be in Austin next week. When, where? Uh, Austin. <laughs> where? We're in Austin. When? I'm going to be on. It's I'm there Thursday through Saturday. So my son is doing a site visit for UT for their swim team. Okay. And I am joining him as a father. Okay. So well, let that, me know if you want to meet up. Yeah. I think I, I don't know. I may have some time on Friday evening. That would be how far away from like, I'm down, I'm going to be downtown and he's on campus. Yeah. It's about 45 minutes, depending on traffic. Okay. Well, I'll keep you posted. I'm not sure quite what my itinerary is yet as a parent. You're supposed to observe, but not get involved. That's right. I just stand and I stay far away from my son, not to bring down his cool factor. <laughs> you mean he can't make, be shouting sure the rest of Wear something time? that says college professor. Oh, he would love that. He would absolutely love that if I wore Oh, that you should college. have a big shirt that says Nate's dad on it, really. <laughs> that's big. what I should have. <laughs> totally. That's what the big arrow pointing to him. <laughs> that would that's spectacular i'm a professional at mortifying my children so okay, yeah. i want to actually make that shirt now that you mention it <laughs> do it <laughs> i'll wear it to swim meets <laughs> awesome that's amazing. um all right so actually this is really good it's probably this, we needed to do this to be honest with you we just we needed to sit down and, and do this kind of work um, okay, so we at this point we have. Are we confirmed that these are lined up with these? Okay, great, thank you. And then, in terms of the checklist, should we spend a little bit of time? Like, I mean, I think. We can probably check a lot of these things, can't we? Yeah, I feel like a mission for exciting news, just so we can make sure we get to it. You have exciting news? Yeah. Well, let's just stop everything and do exactly. the exciting news as opposed to spending 10 minutes on checklists. 
<laughs> Exciting news override. Checklist work. <laughs> Most things. It's exciting. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Please, Matt, share so, your Okay. Experience. So um, the stickers came in. For the hey. The DEI Ally stickers. And, awesome. Um, that is the uh, really, that's the, the exciting news is that they're free and that they're in limited supply. We can always make more, but right now they're in limited supply. And um, <laughs> There's three ways you can get a sticker. I, I have them listed in the meetings here, in the minutes here, but you can either attend a badging meeting and I'll have a form in every meeting that you can fill out to get one or um, review at least one event application. If you were a reviewer, you pretty much get one by default or you can ask me nicely and I can send you one. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to plug the meeting in the, the reviewership. So. Yeah, I know, I don't go to the meetings, I just review. <laughs> You know, one or the other totally works out. I just can't do any more meetings, dude. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Amy, drop give your give your address to Matt. These are easy to just I'll drop. Put it in the Zoom people, chat. You know. Hey, uh, Matt C. Quick question about the badging meeting. Um, what Zoom link are you using for those? Are you using the Google Meet or the Chaos? Neither. We use a, one of my um, university Zoom links. Okay, can you drop that somewhere and I'll add it to the calendar. Make sure. Yeah, the only reason we didn't, what we, at first we were using Zoom, but there was some trouble with Zoom with network connections, especially with people in other continents. So we went to Google Meet and then we're back on Zoom because those issues seem to be resolved by now. Um, I, I, um, I will invite you to the, to the um, calendar invite, Elizabeth. Okay, um, is, is that okay if I add it to the chaos? The main yeah. chaos calendar. Um, okay. The only reason we haven't done it in the past is because um, it has a conflict with the evolution meeting every other week. Okay, perfect. All right. So it, it's become a half an hour meeting, so it no longer has that conflict, though. So for now, it's just the badging week, weekly, but we are um, we are moving we are moving towards having the outreach meeting again once we have some more interest in the summer is over completely for everybody. That's good. Actually, I've seen another uptick in 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 person events. Yeah, in person events are finally applying, so we can test our metal with that too. That's cool. Where are you? I'm. I'll go ahead. I'm crossing fingers that we're still allowed to go to Open Source Summit. My other talk is going to be totally virtual. I know. So. I don't have a ton of faith at this point, to be honest with you. I'm crossing fingers. Yeah. It's two weeks away. Three weeks away. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a month away, right? I mean, for all intents and purposes. So, um, okay. Matt, how are, how are, um, how are things going with in the inclusion of new metrics in the badging program? Um, we were actually, we're pretty ahead because we were planning on starting our freeze on September 5th. Mm -hmm. Now it's October 5th because we, we follow a lot of the chaos metrics as they okay. move forward. So we, we're, we're preparing, um, but the pace is slowed down because we've run, and we're starting to run out of things to um, add, <laughs> really. So really um, everything, well, I mean, there's, have you added like? Uh, we've added, we kind of added a, a rudimentary version of everything that's in the chaos release and our plan for that first few days of October okay. is to, um, really beef up and 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 fill in with uh with anything that may be added or different uh, and uh and complete them at that time okay do you have any concerns that so like right now the review process is it doesn't take very long to be honest with you do you have concerns that adding a bunch of new metrics is going to increase the 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 ask to a point that like uh, uh, event organizers and reviewers are gonna become more reluctant to go through the process. So there's two things I can think of, two situations I can think of that might be make it more difficult is for, an, for a new applicant or a new reviewer, because the people who have been either reviewing or applying multiple times, have gotten the process down to where I see it happen really quickly. Um, like not, not just within the day time frame or whatever that we normally see it, but also like, uh, well, the few days time frame, but um, I also see it happen like 
Uh, I've actually, um, I, I, one time I was lucky enough to see as someone was checking off the review list, <laughs> I saw the boxes being checked like it was some ghost doing it. But like that, that process seems to happen pretty quickly because they know where to go and they know where to look for things. Sure. And, yeah, and so I'm when with you. you're writing down answers to all of these questions, we may want to make it a little more like pointed, um, concise. Uh, we may want to ask, be, be more specific in what we're asking. And we have some specific changes for as well about um, like diversity access tickets. That name is probably going to change in what we're asking what they do, because a lot of people call it sponsorships, just examples like that. Um, we had a lot of changes based on that as well. It's going to be a, a much larger release than last time. Okay. So in terms of like inclusive experience at event, like this will be added starting in October, I'm guessing as part of the application. Yeah, at the end of October. At the end of October and time inclusion for virtual events, likewise, also yeah. added at the end of October. That's okay. Correct. I was and just so, gonna add to yeah, that, ahead. to Matt's um, comment um, as a reviewer, when I have another event that is the same organizer, and the structure is the same. Like, I mean, it's like he said, it's you know exactly where to go. Like, it's the same for that kind of overarching. You know what? Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, mm -hmm. as a reviewer, it's still yeah. pretty quick. Like, okay. you know exactly where stuff is. And okay, yeah. okay, okay. No, well, that's that's good. Um, all right. Can you, maybe, I, so then maybe it's just like a note, like a mental note, just to kind of keep your eyes, Matt, starting in November, just to see how, if the reviews are taking longer, I don't know if you can really see that, or if you hear any comments, or maybe it's something to start asking in the badging meeting starting in November. Yeah, we get a lot of feedback, believe it or not, already on um, on how the process works and little hiccups that people experience, things like that. Okay. We hear a lot of that. And uh, we've implemented a lot of those changes based on that. So it's just kind of rolling. As we get the feedback based on our, our, our lengthening of the process, we'll see if that's too much. OK. OK, cool. Thank you. Um, all right, let's get back to checklists. <laughs> They're so fun. <laughs> Actually, yeah. as a task-oriented person, I do appreciate a good checklist. So you should you should open the issue yourself, and then you can watch a ghost. Like oh, there you go. Check. So this could be fun. We could make it fun. I could share my screen, and you could have your own screen up. So I mean, I would imagine a lot of these are like. Why won't it turn yellow? What happened? Sorry, I, I clicked one at the same time you clicked one. That, <laughs> then it exploded. It. We had like an internet. Let's, let's have an atomic situation here where one person is working on one check. <laughs> so wait, can you not, we can't both have it open? I don't know, I have it open also. So I just can't check out. the same box at the same time. There, I okay, nobody that. check anything for a second. Okay, I can't. Oh, ta -da. there. Did you see? Okay, so did somebody else check one. Objectives lists the sample uses for the metrics and desired outcomes. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't take much to entertain. No, it doesn't. My gosh, I'm really glad we're recording this too. <laughs> for, Should we edit this whole for, <laughs> for others? <laughs> we may have made it to the 43rd minute of this meeting. <laughs> All right, uh, contributor section, the, does this one, okay, somebody just, can somebody? Yeah, I'll do it. I can just do it. I can just go through them, it's fine. Okay, it'd be great if, if we could kind of just spend a little bit of time, like, actually, can you do psychological safety? Matt, does anybody want to, I won't assign, but does anybody want to maybe do the checklist for the other candidate metric releases before next time? I'll take on inclusive experience at that. Okay. I'll do the- I'm on video. Well, hello. Okay. 
<laughs> you might as well say hi now. Yeah, we have this really cool thing we can show you. It's that somebody else can check a box and it appears on other people's screens. <laughs> Watch it, he'll DevOps it for you. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I can check a box <laughs> and it'll we'll appear. Automate it. We'll yeah. never have to touch it again. It'll just be automated. Amazing. So and we'll have no control and we'll go, ah. All right. So let's let's jot this down. So Matt um, checking checking boxes. Um, Matt, which one are you doing? Inclusive experience at event. And you were doing psychological safety. Right? Yeah. Okay. Then I will do event demographics. Yeah. Oops. This was really, despite not having an agenda, this was a good meeting because I really think we had to get through a lot of these things, to be honest with you. The last meeting didn't have an agenda either. We just went with it. <laughs> well, okay. So, I mean, how about we need to assign a person to facilitate next time? Because if I, if I, I usually try to set an agenda if I'm going to be the facilitator, at least for a few things. I know I won't be here next week. Okay. I have to do a meeting. Okay. A presentation. I can do it. I just, that way I know ahead of time. So, time inclusion. Who does anybody want to do time inclusion? I can do that. Matt, could you, could I ask you to do the last one? Which is the last one? Documentation discoverability. Yeah. It goes Matt Elizabeth, Matt Elizabeth, Matt. Mm -hmm. Right, and then I'll add my name up here. Facilita facilitatory. <laughs> it's gonna, no, don't get rid of it. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so then, good, thank you for that. And actually that leads us right to the end. So that took a little bit more time than I thought just to get these into the translations and get the check boxes done. This is actually something we were supposed to do. <laughs> so all good, all good there. I will facilitate next time and I'll have a, um, a very strict agenda next time. I'm gonna have it everything down to the minute next time um, for things for us to talk about. And then actually next time, so this was it. So this is, these are just FYI, these are our metrics for this round. So inclusion of colorblind and a few great ideas for event metrics <laughs> won't make it in. <laughs> so we'll just, we'll look at those next time. You know what I mean? For the next, for the next round. Um, does anybody have things they want to talk about on the next agenda? I think at, I'm, hoping that Georg and um, Nicole, that we have a board meeting coming up in the fall. I think maybe we wanna talk about things that we've done that we could per, um, provide to the board. You know what I mean? That we've done. And I think maybe next time I will talk about the DEI reflection a little bit more, um, a little bit more explicitly than I did today. Well, I guess I didn't talk about it today. So I'll just talk about it next time at, at all. Um, and that'll take care of that. So if you have things that you want to add to the agenda next week, that would be that would be great. Um, but I think those two and maybe anything else I add will help kind of move us forward. Cool. I've got uh, about six metrics to add for next week. Um, we got to all we got to look at them all at the same time and create them from scratch. So I'm looking forward to the next week. All right, you just put it on the agenda, and I will <laughs> just kick that to you. Then you can help us out. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great rest of your Wednesday.
Take care. Bye. Bye.